I had a kid the other day ask me, what do I do if I need this to be another color but I've already mixed it? Because right now it's kind of competing with this purple. So what I want to do is mix another color into this. I almost want it lighter. So let's say I want that lighter. I could mix a color with it or because right now it's plastic, if I paint on top of it with water, it doesn't activate, doesn't bother anything. Doesn't, nothing happens really, it's just water. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to create what we call a glaze. So back here, I want this to be a little bit warmer, a little bit warmer. So I'm gonna take and do like a soft pink. I'm gonna take the pink and I'm gonna put it over here. And I'm going to add a lot of water to it so that it's almost not even existent, just a, a light, light pink. And I want this to be kind of a light, light pink, so I'm going to add a little bit of white to it as well. You can do this with any color. So what I'm going to do is start to add color on top of this, but with a wash. It's called a glaze, so that I have just a li little bit of that pinkish color. I'm going to keep coming back and forth. So it just barely softens the tone. You can still see my word, but it kind of softens if I can do that. Yeah, there we go. So that my pink is very subtle, just a real light glaze. This only works if you use water with it. You water it down and then you're painting right on top, trying to create what we call a transparent layer. Transparency means that you can see through something. So we're tra trying to make it transparent. Um, we can also call it translucent, meaning that you can kind of see through it. I just want to very carefully get a little bit. Let's say I accidentally get too much. If I get too much, I cover up my R, which can make some people freak out. What I do is I just really quickly move my brush over top of it until I can start to see it again. I'm using water right on top of it. I want to make sure I can see that R, but I want it real kind of hazy in the back. And that's how I create a glaze. So that you can see a color on top of it. So you can layer several different colors on top. When I'm painting a picture of skin tones, I will use a glazing technique. I might use a more of a peachy skin tone and then I'll use a, a glazing technique to, to show shadows within the artwork. So that's, that's something that um, a lot of artists use so that you don't want the skin to look green, but if you use a, a glazing technique, I'm using water because that M started disappearing. Now I'm going to use the water to blend it back out. If I use a glazing technique and I'm doing a skin tone, I can control how much of that um, more cool tone that I want to put in the skin as I'm working. And here I'm controlling how much blue or how much of a warm tone I'm controlling. So I still have that blue underneath that's showing up and I have all those great brush marks from that but I'm adding another dimension to my piece by creating a glaze. Also, if something is competing, like if my M is competing with the background and it's the same tonal quality, like this is the same value as that, I can push the background either lighter or darker by creating a glaze technique. Or warmer or cooler. You can go either direction with it.